my turn to get low, brother! Time to get low. Deacon St. John, brought low by the lowly Jesse Wilson. Brought low. Oh, do you remember back in the day? <laughs> you and Boozer held me down. Watch I burn the flesh from my back. Those, those memories kept me from being free. being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds, I know maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo, so there's no one left. Shouldn't. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. What's up with you? When I was out in the shit a few months back, we saw a bunch of freaks down the horde. I think they grouped together like that for a reason. I mean, like that. I was in my classroom when uh... Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on, he started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State to visit Jack. Blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. 
Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Here, what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. Well, Brian, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brian out. I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Deek, deek, deek. <laughs> hey, I heard, you know, I mean, what you did for us, how you, the Rippers, all of them, I just, I know you had to do it. What else was going to stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had, we had to, <laughs> look, they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. An hour later, you don't have to explain anything. Hey, Deke, um, you be careful out there. Her first started falling out.
Say, John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? Put them all down. I need to see you in person. Tell me what you found is ish. Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. God damn it. Dean. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, people who had federal clearance levels. Dean, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Information? What information, O'Brien? What the hell could you possibly have left to say? That I would give a damn about. Deacon, hey, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, uh, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. Oh, God damn it. Sniper ambush. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror? Global warming? None of that matters now that we're in the shit. That's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror is just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global one? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just a way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all the misdirection folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. That's, uh... It's actually pretty good advice, for once. A little late, but it's good advice. possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about it. I can use this.
Open it up. Can I help you? Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the hey, old wagon hotel. Get your ass yeah, back I to another work. one. Thanks, Dee. Not gonna feed you. I appreciate you. it. Please no. Oh God! Hey, I'll be back. Hey, how's it going? Let me get the gate for you. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, we were numb. We were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds. Keeping us there. sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin. And it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake. And we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning? No one us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath and hold it in. You're a free man. No one can take that from you again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope, I'm feeling the pain. Who fucking is it? Ah, uh, fucking Jesse Carlos Williamson. Rest in peace.
burn, you asshole. Cover me! Help! I'm in here! God damn it! Gotcha! Hey, Larson, how are you holding up? Say, John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you'd have got to tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go. Run. be useful. What information, O'Brien? What the hell can you possibly have left to say? That I would give a damn about you. Talky there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tucker out. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out.
So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Negro personnel, federal officials, and, well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a Class 4 federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer, Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? I, I, yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat for miles. So was, uh... There we go. Bounty. Okay, what were you saying? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. Said so there was a a trail that went around Mount Fields. Tielson, Tielson, yeah, that's it. Brian, they, uh, Boozer, he found her ID badge. Boozer, uh, I, I think that she's alive. Dave, never lost her. Never lost her. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... I gotta find her. Got that right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help on a shelf or some goddamn thing. I'll see you when you get back to camp. Who's around? Okay, okay. See you, Booze Man. Hey, Ricky. Um, I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Uh, back 
What, what do you What do you mean? Those are tokens. Oh, okay, look. There's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sanium Pass, you know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I guess some shit for peeking out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. Oh, I'm just gonna so you get one warning. 